My name is Isabel Hernández. I'm the veterinarian at Rescate Animal Soave, the, the rescue center. Um, here we are at the monkey clinic. Um, and we have at the moment five babies that uh, are in the rehab process. Um, they come from 200, 300 grams up to one kilo. Um, most of the babies came because the mother died, either because of electrocution, dog bites, and someone who don't have it at home as illegal pets because it's illegal to keep any wild animals in houses. Um, so we have um, most of the stories are something like that. Um, so one of the babies came um, with a car accident. He needed orthopedic surgery and now he's at the um, rehab process. He's doing physical therapy and he's doing pretty well. So we think he's going to be a very good um, individual for release. Then we have two more babies that came from Guanacaste, that is another part of Costa Rica. Uh, and it was the mother died, so we don't know what happened, they just found the babies. Another one, the people just found in uh, alone near to the road, so we don't know what happened with the mother. Um, most of the animals came from the Benai, that is the environment we grew up in Costa Rica. Um, so people rescued them and gave it to Benai, and someone came directly to, the, to us, to our front desk. Isabel. He came from Sarapiki, from another, um, from a veterinary clinic. Um, and I bring it to the to that clinic, and they send it to us because it has um, fractures in both tumors because of car accidents. Um, so he received surgery, orthopedic surgery at the uh, National University. He has an endomedullary pin in one of the legs and an external fixator in the other leg. Um, he kept, he has the um, fixator for over a month and a half, then we removed the fixator and start physical therapy. Um, at the beginning it was uh, quite difficult because he was scared to move the legs, um, because he was kind of traumatized um, because with all the process. But now he's doing pretty well, he is walking with both legs, using normal, uh, normally. Um, so he's going to be um, a candidate to release in a, in a year or something like that.